Well, from the government's point of view, we were extremely pleased when the all-party group um, said they were coming down. From my point of view, I'm extremely pleased that they visited Cayman Brac today. So I, I think that if you looked at the agenda and the schedule that they have, there hasn't been one minute free time for them. Um, they have seen the best of our three islands, and um, we've really enjoyed today. Well, they're friends of Cayman, and they understand Cayman. We believe that we have a, a lot of special features to Cayman. Our economy is extremely strong. Um, we are in the right place, in the right space for our economy right now, for our people, our quality of life. And we believe that working together and farthering that relationship is what we need to foster. Well, first of all, it's a wonderful privilege for British members of Parliament to be able to come to see one of the UK's overseas territories and undoubtedly one of the best overseas territories. We can see how the government of Cayman is doing a tremendous job in making sure that we have an overseas territory of which there's no concerns. We have 19 overseas territories and many of them do have issues. Cayman does not. They are self-financing. They have good governance. Uh, they have a rule of law. So this proves that an overseas territory can work and is a model here in Cayman of how a British overseas territory should operate. Well, I've been fortunate. I've come here three times. So this is my third visit in the last 12 years. And I can see a territory that is expanding, that's growing in its prosperity, and that's playing a wider role. For instance, we saw the work that was carried out at the time of Hurricane Irma and how the helicopter and other efforts were made to assist people on Turks and Caicos Islands and in the region generally. So Cayman is playing its part. This is my first visit to Cayman Brac. It's just a stunning island, a wonderful place to visit. This is a great opportunity for us to see a part of the Cayman Islands that British MPs would never normally get the chance to see. And what a great place, and what wonderful people, and what a great opportunity to see an island which is very much part of Cayman that has its own identity, its own character and very much its own history. So we've been really thrilled to be here today and delighted to have that opportunity and to be taken around by the local Member of Parliament which uh, always is fantastic as MPs to see an MP taking such pride in their constituency. Well what a wonderful uh, community you've got here in the, in, in the Caymans, uh, a truly diverse community but uh, very comfortable with, with uh, each other, an amazing array of uh, different nationalities uh, have come together and created a, a, a society where it's very ho homely and welcoming. The first thing I noticed when I stepped on the tarmac at the airport on uh, two or three days ago was uh, this is feels very much at home, this is like Britain um, uh, and uh, we've got a lot to learn from you it has to be said and we've also enjoyed uh, something of the the work that's been done with the environment, we went to the turtle release, uh, we've seen the iguanas, we went to your magnificent health city which I think is something that we, uh, we perhaps can uh, look further at as we develop our own health service. Well, it's been a combination of a whole range of things, both economic, cultural and government related. Uh, we've learned an awful lot about uh, the financial service in the industry and how you regulate it, and that's been very impressive. Uh, we've also uh, discussed with uh, government members the uh, relationship between the UK and the Cayman Islands, and it's quite clear that uh, uh, we want to establish a, a clear partnership of equals between them. Uh, you are a model democracy, well governed, and I think the relationship uh, certainly needs developing somewhat. Um, and you're very impressive, and that's the message I think we'll be passing on to our government. The highlight of my trip has been being here. I have never been to a place like this. This is nirvana, frankly. Everything I've seen has been excellent. Government seems to work, the people have work, 
and intermingle extremely well. Uh, the place has got a perfect climate and to be honest I think we've got one hell of a lot to learn from this British overseas territory back in UK. Well, the thing I really take away uh, from this latest visit to the Cayman Islands is just how well governed and what a good society that it is, a uh, prospering uh, economy, uh, a real gem in the whole of the Caribbean region. But also what I take away is the fact that the Foreign and Commonwealth Office in London and the British government more generally needs to pay much higher respect to overseas territories like the Cayman Islands uh, and really see the islands uh, as part of the British family as equals and very much respect uh, what Cayman does so well. It's been great uh, meeting uh, with the Premier, with the acting governor and speaking to those who are uh, running the government and uh, really supporting uh, Cayman society but also uh, the turtle release uh, that we were very privileged to be part of and uh, seeing the blue iguana brought back uh, by the Cayman Islands National Trust uh, from the brink of extinction is something as well. So we've seen the economic side and the success of that but also the success of the environmental programs uh, that uh, Cayman is very much leading on. We're very proud of what Cayman is doing but it is a British overseas territory and therefore it's very important that Cayman and the United Kingdom understand each other, that we work together. That doesn't mean we tell Cayman what to do. On the contrary, you have self-determination, and your right to govern your own affairs. But it's important that that relationship that we have between here and London is very strong and we understand where we're coming from and we work together in our common interests as British people. Thank you for watching GIS Spotlight. For more info, visit us on www.gis.gov.ky. You can also connect with us on Facebook, Flickr, Twitter, and YouTube. This is a production of GIS Marketing and Communications.